Hello everybody, my name is Andy Richardson and today I want to talk to you about the Civil PE StudyCast. It's a system that can help you pass the PE exam so you can get to the top of the engineering profession. Now today you have exactly one goal and that goal is to pass the PE exam. Passing the PE exam obviously is the ticket to becoming a professional engineer which will unlock some other doors for you in your career. It may help you get a promotion or a raise or perhaps even a bonus. Many of you though just want to have the benefit of having the PE and pass the PE because you've worked so hard for it for so long. Whatever the reason that you want to pass the PE exam and whatever the reason that you want to become a professional engineer, you want to keep those goals and those things in mind because that's what's going to give you the push through these next few weeks and next few months as you prepare for the PE exam. So keep those goals in mind. Next we want to talk about the obstacles of getting through the PE exam. What makes the exam so difficult? And it is a difficult exam. It has five sub-disciplines on the civil PE exam covering those same subject areas, those five subject areas. It has a morning breadth and a depth for the afternoon as you very well know. But, the five, but because it has so many sub-disciplines it is a broad base of knowledge that you have to review and recover. Next, of, next reason is the fear of failure. You may be just like I was whenever I took the PE exam and I didn't want to be that person in the office the first one who ever failed the PE exam. That was actually a monkey on my back so to speak and it actually made me concerned and fearful that I was going to fail. I know that sounds silly but many of you may be going through the same type of thing. Another factor is the time it takes to prepare for the PE exam. You're going to want to put in probably a minimum of 200 hours on the on your preparation at a bare minimum. Some of you may want to adjust upwards from that, but no less than 200 hours for most of you. Now because of the time factor and the time involved, you're going to have other obstacles because we all have life that we have to deal with. And so we put into the category of life those things that include work, family, or anything that may get in the way, quote unquote, of our PE exam review. So during that time of review, what you're going to want to do is adjust your priorities for that short period of time so that you can put that 200 hours into a, say, 12 week window, which is going to require approximately 16 to 17 hours a week if you're giving yourself 12 weeks to review the for the exam. So those are some of the obstacles. How do we get over those obstacles and how do we pass the PE exam? Well we have to execute on exam day and the way that we execute on exam days is we learn how to work problems efficiently and proficiently. So how do you do that? Because if you can do one or the other it's not good enough. You have to have both efficiency and proficiency in order to get through the exam. If you can do them right but you don't do enough of problems correctly or if you could do plenty of problems but you don't do them right then it's the same result is you still have the same result which is you fail the exam so how do you learn to do that how do you learn to work problems efficiently and proficiently well preparation is really the key to that you have to and, and you have to do the right kind of preparation that I recommend which is both theory and problems that is, you want to read and review the theory behind working the problems. That will give you the good base that you can work the problems. And also the theory will help you answer those def definition or qualitative type problems on the exam. Then working the problems will give you that muscle memory that will drive that into your brain and help you do the problems more efficiently on exam day. So what are the components of a good exam review? Now if you're doing this on your own as a, as a self-study program or if you are actually in a course type review system you're going to want some of these components or all of them is what I recommend. Here are the components of a good exam review. You, you want a review that does include theory and problems as we discussed. You want to have good review materials. Many of you are going to use a core reference manual plus your textbooks and of course the recommended standards and codes in the NCWES referenced standards. You want to account for adequate amount of time in your review like we discussed earlier which I recommend a minimum of 200 hours. In order to put that time in you're going to need to stay motivated and 
to be motivated, you're going to probably have to be held accountable in some way, shape, or form. So you want to have some motivation to push you through. And we talked about the goals, and you want to keep those goals in mind as you're preparing 16, 17 hours a week to put in those hours needed to prepare and cover that broad base of material. If you get rusty in some areas, it's helpful to have a teacher that can help you through those things, that can explain things for you. That's kind of a bonus component of a good exam review, though some people require that type of review, depending on your learning style. But I think that it's always a good idea to have a teacher because it can help you through those rusty times and it can help you stay on track as well. A coach will help you more from a standpoint of reviewing the correct materials, staying on track with your review, and that type of thing. So there is a slight difference between a coach and a teacher in that sense, but those are the good the components of a good exam review. If you have all these components, you're likely to pass the exam. The Civil PE Study Cast actually covers all of these components in its process. It includes both theory and problems. We have handouts that we provide and they are a part of a good review material tool base. Next we provide obviously the videos and uh, instructional materials that you can use in your preparation time and account toward your preparation time. We try to keep you motivated and accountable to doing your work through homework assignments and through forums and so forth. Next, we obviously provide instructional materials and instruction, so that's your teaching. If you're a part of the premium class, which we'll cover in a moment, that will give you additional live teaching as well to help you through those rusty spots that we talked about a moment ago. Next, you may need a coach to help you stay on track and help you know what to focus on as far as your review goes. So how does the Civil PE Study Cast work? Then let's talk about that in more detail. The, the study cast core is pre recorded videos that cover all five subdisciplines of the PE exam. Those videos are delivered online, and you can watch those on the web, or you can actually watch them via iTunes and pre download those to your device, be it an iPhone or iPad or maybe an Android device. You pre download those, and you're able to watch those at your leisure. Maybe you could watch those on a, like a lunch break or some other break that you have that you don't have time or space to bring out maybe a 10-pound core reference manual, but yet you do have time and space to bring out your iPhone or iPad, and you can watch those. And that's what sets the Civil PE Study Cast apart from some of the other courses out there, that's one of the things that sets us apart, is that we are truly portable and truly mobile. The other thing that sets us apart is the live classes, and we offer those in addition to the pre-recorded videos. We have those. We feel that both aspects of the review is important, though we did divide it as a base course and a premium course if you want to just do the pre-recorded videos. We also include in our review handouts, quizzes, and access to the study group and uh, study group and instructor via the forum. We feel that that's an important part of the review as well, and that helps with the motivation and accountability that we discussed. So these items with the study cast meet all the requirements of a good review, in my view. And that's basically how this civil PE study cast works, how it can help you pass the PE exam and get to the top of the engineering profession. In order to go ahead and order that, you can just scroll down, click the Buy Now button. You can use the basic class, which is $297, or you can upgrade at any time, be it now, or you can go ahead and click on that premium class for $447, or upgrade later for an additional $150. I would recommend going ahead and doing that today, but if you prefer to wait till later, that is fine. But either way, you, you want to get it during the early sign up period, which if, if you went ahead and got to this page during that early sign up period then you can benefit from that. If you have any questions about the Civil PE Study Cast or just the PE exam in general 
go ahead and go to the bottom of the page. You can see my contact information there, and you can contact us directly and ask any questions you have. Also, you can go to the About page and find the contact form on that page and ask any questions you have there as well. In either case, I do recommend you go ahead and sign up for the Civil PE Study Cast. I think it can give you the edge on the Civil PE, help you pass that exam so that you can indeed get to the top of the engineering profession. And everybody, I wish you the best on the Civil PE exam. Thank you.